I haven't been posting in a while, not for any specific reason, just because I've been tired and lazy. I'm trying to get back into it because it's the one year anniversary of my third book, God is a Grunt and More Good News for GI. So I'm trying to plan like a series on the chapters that I have in God is a Grunt. Uh, but in the meantime, that's coming soon. In the meantime, I did want to mention that this news out of Sudan, um, I'm starting a, a, a very unedited rough cut podcast at Substack, pewpew.substack.com. And in it, I'm going to be sharing my commentary on the intersection of faith and service and current events. And Sudan is one of those places where special operations forces have been assisting with humanitarian aid, which is evacuating people from these two warring factions. Um, and yesterday I learned that one of our congregants in Laguna Beach, California, uh, had a child, one of their, their son was one of those operators and was evacuating people from Sudan. And I mentioned that because it rests in between, you know, if you believe, if you're, uh, you know, a nationalist leaning conservative, you want to believe that the military can only do good and that's fine. Well, it isn't, but whatever. If you're a toxic progressive pacifist, you don't want to believe the military is capable of doing any good at all. And yet, special forces are responsible for evacuating, I don't think just the American embassy, I think the French and Spanish embassy as well. Um, it's an uh, unfolding story, but um, it's something to think about that militaries are capable of a lot of different things, some good, some bad, and to not just you know sit on one side of the fence, throwing grenades over the other side, never having looked over, um, there's reason to believe that the military is capable of both good and evil. And Sudan is a good reminder of that. Outside wartime, they do all these things um, that are still very much within their mission, but are not necessarily violent.